Well, folks, I got this slowed down. It's, it's being a black, and I got it to slow down. And you can see the meatball. You're going to see that. And I got some more footage that I'm going to play a, a video that I've started and I have to come back to. The comment is right there. That's the comment uh, 2012 C 2012 X4. Uh, more than likely, the odds are just too high that it cannot be anything else than it. And it's scooting off away. This is our meatball, a cowboy meatball. We know about that. And we got Mercury over here. And what I'm going to do is take you to a shot that's going to be also in the video that I'm going to play in a second. But the actual factual on that was that this here shot, this is a, some planetoid object below Venus, because this is Venus for absolute sure. Uh, could it be Mercury? Doesn't really matter. Okay, it's not as big. It shouldn't be the comet. But then again, and because basically why, the reason it's not a comet is because I'll show you in the video that I'll play that I was starting on that basically you can see the meatball right here. And then I got information on basically by looking at. We're gonna get some earthquake action real fast since I clicked into it. Okay, and remember the mag is right here. So this is all 5.2, 5. Point whatever mag. And then down here, and you just freeze and go to it just faster. I can show a lot of data and not read it off because you don't need me to read it off to you. Okay. I uh, apologize to anybody who's blind that that is, <laughs> it is taking, and I'm just, it's kind of a joke, but at the same time, the idea that if you listen to my audio for some reason, which I really kind of doubt that, and I'm not going to let anybody psychologically play with that because I would feel sorry for somebody that they could just get this on audio, but they can basically have somebody watch it and basically it's blind and then they could they could have someone announce it off to them okay and read this so watch it full screen as you can see we have a bunch of magnitude okay at Bonadu and very deep as you see 600 kilometers deep okay and then I'm not really gonna go another page if there is another page and there's you know high magnitude quakes uh, so for earthquakes right now uh, the world's not gonna end we gotta get some more footage in because when you look at the footage from what we'll see from Sechi, uh, you would think so. Because so people could fake people out. So just relax. Nothing's going to happen. And I realize that any butthole could show this stuff to be everybody. Remember, Earth is over here. Okay? So don't... Any butthole could make anybody scared as hell. Okay, so this is our footage that we have on that. Okay, I was having some footage problems with something. So we're going to glue in on this. So this is Earth down here, and this is more than likely... Uh, Venus up there doing its action up there now so what I was trying to do is show you that the idea that since they're showing that shot of and we've seen Venus do its atmospheric electrical gaseous whatever it doesn't really matter and yeah they're trying to figure out the materials of Venus because of the action that they're seeing and everything like that now uh, it's all electrical and then we're gonna see because basically we're gonna see the same thing going on with our atmosphere here Static electrical, okay? Rub your head on a balloon, okay? Yeah, that's how we stay clung. Static electricity to the sun, okay? And the sun is throwing out static electricity. Come on, kids, follow me. See, that's how it works. So we're going to glue in here and watch the sun to the left. I have to do that real fast because I said the wrong thing because I was wanting to say Earth, okay? Because we're going to see what's going on with our static electrical. Now remember, we rotate to the east, so we rotate counterclockwise, okay? So as you see, that loop of our atmosphere, which is basically in the middle, was, is our equator. And we're in the fall solstice, so see, now we're going to start going back towards the sun now, okay? From this point, because it's like the first day of winter. Um... So, from here on out, we're the farthest we're going to get, which should be on our way back towards the sun. Now, even being in a winter solstice, the last data I seen, we were under one IU. Okay, so we're not that far away, and that's why we're having drought. And that's why, yes, a lot of places ain't getting snow on lower altitudes. Higher altitudes, they're getting snow, but very, very high altitudes. Okay, so what we've got going on here, that's, I'm talking about North America. There, that's Earth, okay, and that's Earth doing its thing. That's our static electrical, okay. So I'll zoom in to a custom 777 if we can get it to come up here. 
Okay, then we move up. Take a look at uh, Venus. Come on, baby. What I've got to do is I've had something open for a while, so i got to go shut that up. So everything's fine here. We've got plenty of computer power and everything, so that's Earth doing that. And then you got that going on up here, which is more than likely Venus. Okay? So at the shot's angles, and as you can see, see, there's a magnetical there. Now, is that Earth's magnetical? And no, I don't believe it is. I believe that could possibly be Jupiter's. Uh, it could be Earth's magnetical. It, it, it's our magnetical, I guess. That's our magnetical. So we're very strong. We ain't going nowhere, okay, folks? So, and then you get that. So that's more than likely Venus, because I can go back to real fast. We can go back to, that's probably Earth. Now we're fine, okay, the meatball's huge, and there's huge distance between us and Venus, so the idea that it fits, don't worry about it, because basically taking you this, what I need to get away from, this is in the deep darkness behind Earth, okay, but over to the east of Earth, basically, uh, when you're standing on Earth looking at the sun, because the sun's over here having the object, this is the footage that I showed you from the 18th, where we found all the stuff, I made plenty of videos, so if you're late on getting in here, and you see, think this is my freshest video. I've made a ton of videos because we just all of a sudden got swamped with all this data pictures from space. So this here is huge and it's up there and you see that in my videos and I got it froze there because this thing is huge because it's bigger than this meatball. And yep, this is what it looks like when you first show up. So then what you got to do is you got to go down and you have to slow it down, okay? Because they're only giving you, what the heck was it? Just like an hour and some minutes worth of footage, okay? And you can see the meatball. You can't miss it. Okay. And then that's the comet right there. And this is Venus. Now remember, the sun's over here. Okay. And in this shot here, it's different. It's not the same angle. Okay. And even if it is, if it is the same as this, if that is Earth there doing that, we are hunky-dory fine, okay? But as you know, as you see the marking for Mercury, you know that more than likely that's another one of these planets, because you see Jupiter, we already just showed you the footage of Jupiter and Earth doing what it's doing, okay? And you can see a little bit that there's something moving around down here pretty good. Getting ready to flash probably down there. So everything's fine because Mercury's over here, and remember, Mercury and Venus are both up to the right when you're sitting on Earth looking to the east and looking at the sun, that all this stuff is off to the right and we have plenty of distance. Everything is hunky-dory. But this is the meatball at the fresher shot of here. The meatball is right here. Okay? And I was trying to bring you the footage back on that and I'll see if I got that in a minute. But as we also... This is interesting, but it more than likely is... A galaxy way a star cluster off and then when we talk about everybody's always talking about asteroid belts we have an example here okay and basically this is all the data you need to know of how far away and how small and how big okay and there's the distances okay and that's the mileage okay Largest distance from the sun and everything like that. Median, the highest, and the lowest. Okay? The mileage and everything. And basically, here's a whole list of them. Okay? Now, there's 75 asteroid belts. Now, there's 75 close by us. Not, I don't really have it exactly, because basically they're not just in... Okay, there's 75 close by Earth that we know of, okay? But if they're at these distances, median and the highest, that's the longest way, and that's the name of it. Onania. Onania. Okay, and then I can show you the actual, the lowest size one is two point, two and a quarter miles in size. The median one is 40 miles in size. The highest one is 295.91 miles 
and these are asteroid belt, okay? So, the thing that you've seen going by the uh, International Space, Space Station to the low, it wasn't a UFO, it was more than likely an asteroid belt, okay? What size? Something within these sizes, okay? Now, I had the information for all these here, and basically it was nothing, because this stuff is so hell far out, but that's the deal is, when you're looking at this shot, I'm going to get rid of the map for right now, aren't was in, was basically what was listed, and I looked it up, and basically you have to remember that this, that's an asteroid belt that rotates around, is basically orbits Earth, it's the constant orbit there. So there's tons of stuff, you see, that basically they just, there's tons of stuff in space, okay? Infinite amount of shit. Infinite, infinite. Okay? So basically, when I'm looking at this, which is basically earthquake data, we found this, I'm looking at Navy, okay? So we can zoom in on it, and basically, as you've seen the map that I just got rid of, uh, and I should have the info on this in a minute, but otherwise, then we have a planet. Now, this, you got to remember, this Navy, Alaska 3, it is way the hell up, okay? This is the ultimate zoom out that we have for looking in space, okay? It's hella far out, and that's not Jupiter. I mean, and it's not Venus. I made the mistake of saying Jupiter, but that's not Venus. Because when you look at the map, I give you the view of what you're going to be able to see from Lasco, okay? From this shot. Because, see, they show you all 360 degrees around the sun, you see? And they don't leave it. They don't mask anything out. Sometimes they block. Like I showed earlier tonight, they were blocking. Okay? So, yeah, that is one of your meatballs. Now, I had some footage, and it's way out there. But, see, the CME hits it, and then it basically, you can kind of see that it's out there. Okay? Your eyes ain't lying to you. Okay? So, basically, I zoomed in on this before, and then that's when I had footage problems. Because they really don't want you to realize that this stuff... These meatballs that are actually out there. But they're not going to hit Earth. They never have in billions of years. So relax. Remember, this is moving east. It's moving away from Earth. Okay? It's moving east, and we move east, but it's moving east also. So it, it's way out ahead of it. It's basically one of these objects that's out there that keeps Earth in its nice, safe little cradle. Nice little cradle of civilization. We're just hella hunky-dory fine. Yes, this is the comet there, moving on out out there and everything like that. So let's zoom in on that real fast. Let's get up to 400 and see if we can find it going up the rope on Venus, on Jupiter. I apologize. I'm, I always just correct why I'm making it. I don't waste my time going back. And that's the comet out there doing its action out there, okay? So it was a combination of the comet going by and the actual factual of... We had a big old energy ring that was sitting out on the shots for a long time. And you can go back. It's all history. It's in It's in the uh, it's Navy. These uh, all Air Force, basically every branch of the military, these, the NASA features never go away. It's all scientific data. And there's the comet right there. And that's a 777. And we can blow in it, and it's moving. It's hauling ass away. And you should be able, at nighttime, be able to see it from Earth because it's way out our back door. So, i.e. what I was taping and showing you before of what's out our back door. So, I'm trying to zoom in. As you see, they're starting to give me some overlord action. I don't give a rat's ass. Got perfect right. There's nothing that's so imminent. This is all cataloged at NASA and that's why we can get to this stuff, okay? Sechi and everything, it's all U.S. government property. Okay, and there's a comet way the hell out. So, if I zoom in more with the deal, it's not going to do give us much of a better shot. Okay? And there's stars out there that it goes by and so forth that it's doing this trip through space. Remember, this was from the 18th, and this was a great find, and then basically, uh, that was a great find. This is in the darkness behind, to the right of Earth, way back. It's huge. And then this was actually a great find today, too. Basically finding this popping in down here on Navy. Okay. So, I'll have more. Uh, just throwing this out real fast. So, there you go. Crappy video, but I just had some problems making it. So, uh, we'll have more. I just keep throwing this out to you because it's the freshest from the 19th from seeing up, and they only had a short amount of footage. Of